Asalaamu As Alaikum everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all been well. I am excited to spend this chill, spiritual and self-care evening with you all. This is my summer evening routine. This is how I unwind and also nourish my soul and prepare for a beautiful morning full of positivity, productivity and mindfulness. A good morning routine starts with a good night rest and also an uncluttered brain with a positive mindset. So for us to achieve that, we need to implement the sunnahs of the Prophet during the evenings and also right before bed. First off, I jump into cooking just to get that out of the way and also I like eating early in the evening because it is better to eat ahead of time before bed to get a good sleep. It also helps in maintaining or losing weight, which I'm not trying to lose weight but I'm trying to maintain my weight. Today I'm just making a simple viral TikTok rice bowl as it's a weekday. I don't want to spend too much time in the kitchen. And this is absolutely delicious. I'm the kind of person that tries everything and I love trying different recipes and easy meals. Also, eating early improves sleep quality, helps in calorie restriction and also keeps you healthy. After that, I go for a walk as it's summer, the sun doesn't set early, so it's a good excuse to just get some steps in, get some fresh air and just let my thought run through my head and just daydream. Immediately after I come back, I just switch on all the lamps in my house and I just go ahead and tidy up. This is an important step for me because the worst thing is waking up to an untidy home. I love listening to something beneficial while doing my chores. Reading is something I really enjoy but these days I barely have time to sit down with a book. So recently I started audiobooks and the one I'm currently listening to is atomic habits and i highly recommend it if you can also listen to quran like surah mulk or an islamic lecture that's very very good as well Reading Surah Mulk before bed is highly beneficial and also a prophetic advice. I highly recommend adding it to your routine as we don't know which of our dates will help us in attaining Jannah. I then sit down to take off my to-dos and also write down the next day things that I want to achieve inshallah. It's just rewarding taking it off and knowing that I accomplished everything I wrote. Skincare is an essential part of my routine. I really take it seriously and I also keep it very simple as well. I normally don't wrap up work early, so this is a step I added to my routine, making tea and having it with dark chocolate. This is the time I normally get some editing done and some computer work and I also journal a bit to just free up my brain from any thoughts that I've had during the day.
After Isha, I head up to sleep. It is soon not to make wudu before going to bed and also dust your bed before sleeping. I also have my books on the bedside table and this is a habit that I recently just started. Leaving the books you want to be reading on the bed or your bedside table in the morning so it can inspire you to pick it up at night to read for at least 10 minutes before sleeping if you're trying to develop the habit of reading at night. I have my English translation Quran and that is what I like reading before bed and subhanAllah it really does calm me down and also helps me feel closer to Allah by understanding the verses of the Quran. Don't forget to read your sleeping du'as, your ayatul khursi and adhkar. I hope you enjoy this routine and get some inspiration from it. And I'll see you in my next one. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>